ladies and gentlemen. You know, it's been many years since I put up a Christmas tree. And this story actually came off of the Daily Dot, where this woman had a Christmas tree, and you can see her tree, and more than likely a live tree. And she discovered a possum is up in her tree. And so she's pleading on social media for somebody to help her in what to do to get it out of the tree. So she has tried everything. This is in her house. And she said she don't know how it got in and why it's in her tree. So, well, because, you know, if it's a live tree, it knows it's a live tree. It can smell it, you know. But, hey, he's in his natural element being up in that tree. But, y'all, mm, I'm going to let you watch the video. It's only a few seconds long. And then I'll be right back with the rest of my commentary. I am literally freaking out right now. I have no idea how this possum got in my house and up into my tree. And I'm trying to get him out, but it will not let me. And I just don't know what to do. I don't know how I got in here. I don't leave my doors open. Somebody help. Okay, that is absolutely crazy. I would freak the hell out <laughs> if I would have seen that. But I don't have Christmas trees, so nothing like that. But I think the closest thing to this that happened to me it must have still been back in the 90s. And I had, you know, how you put your trash out in front of your house. Well, I had this green trash can back then. And I went to retrieve it from the curb. And I didn't notice anything unusual until the next day I went out to put a trash liner in it. And it was a rat at the bottom, a live rat at the bottom of the trash can. So I don't know if there was food in the trash can, but something attracted, you know, the this thing to my trash can. And it was dark out when I retrieved it, so I didn't see or hear anything, you know? But oh man, that freaked me out. It was in my garage, thank goodness, and not in my house. It was out in the garage. So what I did was I just opened the garage door. I threw it out real fast and put the garage door down. <laughs> oh, that was probably the closest I've ever had a wild animal, you know, in the house. But never to this level. It, it was not quite this bad. This is absolutely insane. Uh-uh. I, I don't think I could deal with this one. But... <clears throat> So this happened, a woman, she said she decorated her tree and, you know, in a different kind of decoration, and she saw an opossum inside of the tree. Now, I'm wondering if the thing was there when she bought it and she just didn't notice it. I don't know. You know, I have no idea. I don't buy trees and I'm glad. I am out of the Christmas thing. You know, being a Hebrew, we don't do Christmas. So they said this video has gotten 4.2 million views on TikTok at Brett Brat 359 uh, freak out while showing off her decorated Christmas tree, her frosted white tree decorated in a black ornament ribbons and flashing lights seemed to look fine. However, as she walked closer to the tree, it shows a pair of beady eyes peering out at her from between the branches, right? So he is just sitting comfortably in the tree, you know, and I'm sure they probably naturally do that. And she goes on video and says, I have no idea how this opossum got in my house and up into my tree. She says in the video, she shows the opossum nestled deep in the tree. Yeah, and I mean, it looked like it's in there chilling out. 
and everything. So she says she's been trying to get it out, but it won't let her. I don't know how it got in here, she said in the video. I don't leave my doors open. Somebody help. She got over 13,200 comments and people were raving about the opossum um, and saying, you know, holiday themes. You know, they were laughing. I don't think anybody wants an opossum ornament, especially one that's live. So, of course, people start writing things, a possum in a pear tree, you know, and stuff like that. And you'll possum. So, you know, on the first day of Christmas, a possum came to me. Yeah, I mean, trying to live in your tree. So, I know that can't be fun at all. So there was a follow-up video and she shared details on how she was able to get the invader away and got it out of her house. She explained that she was working from her couch and heard a sneeze. And she said that, you know, she owns several dogs and a cat and she assumed that it was one of them. Then she heard more noises and finally took a close look at the tree. And she noticed a long rat tail. This is what her name is Brett. And this is what she said in her video. And it kind of stopped because I was in shock. Also, she explained that she had to wrestle the, the creature out of the tree since the opossum was holding on for dear life to this Christmas tree. Yeah, I bet it was scared as hell. If you got several dogs and a cat, I'm sure that thing was scared. The next strategy she tried was offering the opossum food. Unfortunately, it backfired. After giving up a few times and trying again to feed him, I ended up just giving it my all and plucking his fingers from a, a, the branch. And <clears throat> like at one time, she said in the video, Brett said to the Daily Dot comment that it took about 30 minutes since the creature in question was a lot bigger than it showed in the video. So the Humane Society of the United States said, that often opossums get into houses through a pet door as opossums generally are not aggressive, but they recommend closing interior doors and gently nudging the opossum with a broom to encourage it to leave. So, <clears throat> and she said in her own words, you just grab it Girl, you're brave. That's what one person said. <laughs> Girl, I can't even kill a spider, let alone a possum, out of a tree, another wrote. Well, she said she was able to get it out, you know, and yeah, I mean, if you were able to get it out, once you get it on the floor, you should be able to get it out of your house. And they're not exactly the fastest moving a creature because they got short, stubby legs, you know? And yeah, like they said, you just get a broom and just kind of push it on out the house. Um, I would say out of all the rodents, this one is probably pretty docile, you know? In the South, they would eat them. I know a couple of times... Um, when I was growing up, and it wasn't often they could even catch them. A lot of times they couldn't catch them. But my grandmother's sister that lived right up the street from my grandma, it was a lot of relatives on one street. I don't know why, but it was. And she would, you know, when they were able to catch one, she would put it in a pan and would have yams all around it and bake it in the oven and they would eat it. Uh, it, it just what look, I came out of the city. So for me, eating a possum was like a foreign thing. 
I, you know, I mean, I can get down with the yams, but a possum, but some people like it. They liked it, you know, whenever they could catch one, that's what they would do. They would just bake it in the oven with, with yams and I couldn't do it. Y'all I'm a Philly girl. I could not, I couldn't put no possum in my mouth. <laughs> I couldn't do it, <laughs> but y'all please tell me what you think of this video. This is just one of those lighthearted videos. Sometimes you just got to get away from the serious stuff and get a good laugh in. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.